Hey everyone, how you doing? So I'm ready to install the head and I noticed that there's nothing in YouTube or in the forums about putting in the head gasket. So the head gasket, if you notice, has an arrow right on the top left corner area with the arrow. The arrows and the identifying that that's towards the front of the engine. Okay. I don't know if all head gaskets are set up that way, but this one is, and this is a mall brand. So just want you to check that out so if you run into a situation you know where um, to install that head gasket properly so before I install this head what I have to do I have to remove the camshafts and also the camshaft bearing caps as well now what I want to emphasize is that these camshaft bearing caps have numbers on it to identify its position so starting from here, you have this camshaft bearing cap here that's a one piece. Then you got this one right here, which is E2, E3, E4, E5. And you can see they're etched on the camshaft caps. Okay, same thing on the intake side. Now this is the exhaust side, because this is where the exhaust manifold will be located at. This is the intake side of the head because this is where the intake manifold is located at. So I have to remove these camshafts in order to have access to the holes so I can install the head gas, uh, the head bolts. All right, so I've already installed the head and I've already torqued the head bolts and the recommended procedure. So what I'm looking at right here is the installation procedures from uh, Toyota. And if you take a look, in the middle figure, you'll see the numeration or the numerical order, if you will, of how to tighten up the bolts. Now, on the right-hand side where it says install cylinder head bolts, okay, um, there's the torque specs for the 2CZ GE engine at 26 foot-pounds of torque if you're in America. And of course, in other countries, 35, uh, oh, forgot, what did, Newton meters. Okay, now, once you're done torquing the head bolts then what they want you to do is mark the head bolts and the reason behind that right there is that because we have to retighten the head bolts again but 180 degrees for 2ZZ for 1ZZ it's only 90 degrees now the marking helps you to see how far the torque or how far the head bolt turned and if you take a look I have a silver marking or a white marking if you look at it really closely to me it's actually silver but it's a marking right there on the left side of the halfway of the head bolt now when you turn to 180 degrees theoretically that marking is going to be on the opposite side so to the right hand side in the middle area and that's where you're in putting the markings on those head bolts to give you a reference point there you go. So you're going to be doing that to all the head bolts and retighten again one more time. And again, you want to follow the numerical order. Okay, so I've already retightened one bolt. And if you can see, the marking now is on the opposite side. Remember, it was on the left side in the middle. Now the marking is on the right side in the middle. And that's what they mean by 180 degree turn. 